Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free. This is and so, so like you, Gladstone. Attachment of my horse. You would rather Throw, throw your body up. upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. Of the knees. <laughs> By God, Disraeli, you are a fool. Oh, I'll yes. not stand idly by and watch you drag Lord parliamentary Cardigan. privilege through the mush of all. No, sir. That is not. precisely You'd the word that I used to describe tyranny. it in dispatches, sir. Perhaps while we're now, at it, Mr. Gladstone, the we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crown to the bloody Stuarts. Oh, dare you, sir. Uh, Trespasser! Uh, you wish to see government placed in the hands of judges? Uh, uh, Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights, which led to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free. Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the... Someone should alert your body. This should be tolerated. A commander could have thrown his hands up and surrendered. A mediocre one would have gallantly thrown his own soldiers and troops upon the Well, Russian if it isn't my like dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to is stab you in the back? Contested elections, was we can scarcly call ourselves free. Goat parts. Along if we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free. Of my horse. Hey, oh, this ain't good. <gasps> Does he know he looks like a nut? Yeah. He looks so suspect to say like this. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. But God is ready. What a fool! I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny? Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crowd to the bloody Stuarts. Holy cutthroats, I'd like that. How dare you, sir? Merely because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges, you would make these slanderous accusations? I'll not stand for it! Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir.
be, I presume. Pleasure to meet you. B. B. My name's Herbert. Then why are you following the Prime Minister? It's just the job, sir. Some old bloke paid me to. Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, uh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lights are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Perfect. Oh. So much for the house call. I have to find a way into that carriage.
Ja. meaning of this? Who the devil are you? Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. <laughs> Madam, apologies, but we've learned of a threat on your life, and the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> that sort. Well, if you excuse me a moment. So fast, Your Excellency.
That's a girl. about Gladstone, young man. I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large mustache. You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry. Madam? Mr. Fry? Ready to take the air? Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. I'm afraid I must cancel our engagement. The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so... I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. Yes, yes. Uh, be gentle, won't you? The press are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. <laughs> I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. Shh, Desmond. That's yours, if you can get those chaps over there to follow me. Right you are, sir. Blimey! Look! It's Squire Bancroft! 
Best lead them astray before they tear me to shreds. Let's go. Left. In the cart, it's the Prime Minister's Whoa, wife. Easy. I really must not be seen here, Mr. Fry. <laughs> Walk on, girl. Devil's Acre has to offer. Is your dog quite all right? Oh, Desmond's fine. He's just not over fond of strangers. Looking for him. 
form of Mr. Fry. I imagine you're the terror of London's underworld. <sighs> now let us continue. Remarkable how the working classes occupy themselves, isn't it? Very industrious, I'm sure. Shall we go? Selling. Best not to ask. Why? Is it something dreadful? <gasps> is it rat? I don't mean to be indelicate, given the present company, but another name for it is Bow Wow Mutton. Here we are, the old one-ton pub. Hmm. So, this is a pint, is it? Huh? <sighs> Remarkable. Nice doggy. Mm. Desmond, hand over the mutt. You'll change your tune when me and my friends find you. Now then, Desmond, to get you back to your mistress, whom I've just left entirely unattended in one of London's most dangerous pubs. Well, if you never told your father how you felt about him, how was he supposed to know? I never thought of it that way. I suppose deep down we all just want to be loved. Just so. Hmm. Here, have a sweetie. Oh, Desmond and Mr. Fry, I'd like you to meet... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. John the Tosser. Charmed. I think we'd better get you home. Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, Desmond. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now, let's not do something we'll regret. That's the way. <laughs> Is 
steady on. Slow down. That's a girl. Doing fine, girl. Well, I must thank you for a most energetic and enlightening evening, Mr. Fry. No, thank you. Perhaps now you might tell me about the man in the Hussar's uniform. Quite right. Lord Cardigan is the gentleman you seek. Tiresome man. Always blathering on about his military adventures. Do you know where I might find him for a private conversation? I do indeed. He's in town now, Very as it fine. happens. Campaigning against the corrupt practices business. Perhaps you could catch him in the Palace of Westminster. Oh, do be careful. The government could ill afford another scam. I assure you, I'll be very discreet. <laughs> Your stop, madam. My stop? <laughs> How delightful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for a splendid evening, Mr. Fry. I shall be sure to speak highly of you to Dizzy. <laughs> oh, yes. What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax. I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. Nevertheless, I think they've cleared 
Pardon me, gentlemen. Sergeant Freddy Aberline of Scotland Yard. Where might this scandalous activity be taking place? Oh, yes, yes, it's up. Uh, just this way. Follow me, Sergeant, but discreetly, if you would. One doesn't like to be seen airing the fellow member of Parliament's dirty linen. What? <laughs> I'll be very discreet. Usually I would be in disguise, but my clothes all fell into the Thames. Somewhere, boy. 
Lose you this time! Ready Get back fire. here, boy! I've got him in my head! I found you, boy! Find me! Stop running, old boy! He can't defeat you all!
Someone's here! He'll be back. 
Password. Balaclava. Come in. Ah. Now then, <laughs> let's discuss this like... Good God! Who the bloody hell... Oh, shut up. should fall not on the gloried fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia! Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick.
Thank you. 